Well, it's day three. Time to pull the nesting box and take a look. Some of the things that we expect to see, the spots on the rabbit on day three should be showing up really well. Um, fur should start be coming in just a little bit. Okay, if we take a look at your babies again today. See that stripe down the back? I mean, that's predominantly coming in. Just a nice fat belly. Mom's taking care of it. Beautiful, beautiful. Very, 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 very happy. Such a cute little guy. I love it. And you see the spots are showing up on the side. Let's see if we can see anything in the nose markings yet. The nose whiskers don't typically show up for a few spots days. on that one. Oh, yeah. That's coming in nice. Coming in nice. And I can almost see nose spots on there, too. So if this one has nose spots, that's awesome. But look at how, how well fed that is. And look at how well those spots are showing up. They're showing up really well. Oh, look at this one. This is the opal. And that one's getting food. That one's nice and fat. Oh, my goodness, is it nice. That one's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Here's the other red one. That's the solid red. She's cute. She's doing good. Nice fat belly. Oh, Everything looks healthy. See that? That's most definitely getting milk. She's getting taken care of. She or he, we don't know the gender yet. Oh, that is a beautiful rabbit. His belly's not quite as fat as I want it. I may pull him. We'll take a look and see if we can't maybe do a little bottle feeding. Get it a little bit of a stimulus because if the bigger, more healthy rabbits push it around. Let's pull. This is the other comparison. Take a look at the belly of this one compared to the belly of that one. This one's getting the milk. That one's getting what mom's giving. Now I've just pulled these two rabbits side by side. I want to show you. Take a look at the fat belly on that one. Take a look at how absolutely skinny that one is. Now that's something you want to watch for. If mom's not getting food to them, I mean, look at the fatness on that belly. I mean, then I'm going to take and I'm going to put this next to it. This is the one that's the blanketed caster. I don't know. It's We'll watch it really close. If it doesn't get a little more milk, we'll either have to hold mom and make sure it gets some or do some bottle feeding. This one's not quite as full. Her, his tummy's still a little empty. So we need to watch this one. We may end up taking it and giving it a little bit of milk or at least... I'll show you how to bottle feed here in just a little bit. And I've got just enough to take and, and it takes it and it goes slow. Now one of the things that you should do is make sure you warm the kid up before you do too much of this. Because if it's not warm, it doesn't take the milk very well. There we go. It's sitting there trying to suck on my hand. It's still wanting more formula. And it'll go right after it. literally just sucking on my finger right there <clears throat> and all I do is I just add a little bit of milk there and if it's getting too much it pulls away and I don't try to force it into it it comes when it's ready for it but it's finally got it figured out what it's doing there
Now I'm putting the kit back in. Oh, it's jumping and hopping and it's doing its thing. There we go. So 